Every year in September, on or close to the anniversary date of the wreckings of the three great ships of the Spanish Armada of 1588, we remember the loss of over 1,000 men on Strija Beach. This year, because of COVID restrictions, we are conducting all events of our Armada Heritage Weekend online. We are mindful to protect our local population and have requested all of our regular visitors not to travel for remembering the Armada 2020. A big welcome and thank you to all who are gathered here. Welcome to Cahir Luck of Sligo County Council, Councillor Dara Mulvey. To the volunteer committee members of Spanish Armada Ireland. To all our friends and supporters, local, national and international, who in a normal year would join with us here, but because of the COVID epidemic cannot be here in person. We hope that you will have joined with us online for all our weekend events. We wish to thank all of our committee members who gave of their time and expertise this year, and indeed for the past 10 years, to make the Armada Heritage Weekend so special. Remembering the Armada highlights the wonderful attractions that this area has to offer, our beaches and mountains, our history, culture, music, food and hospitality, and our people. This monument to the fallen of the Armada overlooks Strija Beach, where beneath the waves and a burden of sand lies the wreckage of La Lavia, Santa Maria de Vison and La Juliana. We thank past committees of Grange and Armada Development Association for this facility and many other excellent initiatives over the years to keep alive the memory of the Spanish Armada and maintain the connections that tie this area to Spain and indeed to all of Europe through the Armada story. I now invite Cahir Luck of Sligo County Council, Councillor Dara Mulvey, to say a few words. Chair, Eddie O'Gorman and members of the Spanish Armada Ireland, special guests and friends, His Excellency Ambassador Castro, who is unfortunately unable to join us here today in person. It is a great privilege to join you on this very special occasion, the 10th Remembrance Commemoration hosted by Spanish Armada Ireland. This event has grown significantly every year and is a credit to the voluntary community involvement of Grange and Armada Development Association, also known as Spanish Armada Ireland. It is well documented episode in Spanish history that three of their Armada ships sank at Strija with the loss of over 1,100 lives. But as also hugely important part of our own history here in Sligo. The fact that it has become such a pivotal episode in local history is due to the fascinating account of the events of 1588, documented by Armada Captain Francesco de Quellier, which have survived to this day. Sligo County Council are delighted to be associated with this initiative and provided practical support by providing a premises at Grange Courthouse. The Visitor Centre is a popular focal point outlining the incredible story of what happened on this beach 432 years ago. Sligo County Council also supported the construction of the Armada Monument of 1588 along with the local committee to commemorate the 400th anniversary of the Armada and continues to do so with the development of the Kellier and Rinro walking trails and in the procurement of 100,000 euro 
in funding through town and village renewal schemes. One notable highlight of the current year was the film Armada 1588, Shipwreck and Survival. This outstanding production received national and international acclaim and brought this seminal episode in local and Spanish history to a new and appreciative audience. There are particular challenges in organising an online festival but it also presents opportunities as it facilitates a greater level of international engagement and also opens up this wonderful programme to a wider local audience. It is the objective of Spanish Armad Ireland to build in the future a full interpretive and visitor centre so that many more people can come to this part of the world located along the wild Atlantic way to find out more about our county, our history, heritage and culture and this incredible Spanish Armada story. Sligo County Council supports you in this endeavour and we will continue to work with you as you build on your remarkable achievements in recent years. You have arranged an excellent programme that will intrigue and inform and I will conclude by thanking Ambassador Castro for his ongoing support for this project. Thank you very much. Remembering the Armada is now very much an opportunity for the Spanish community living in Ireland to gather to remember their antecedents who met such a tragic end uh, at Strija. We are delighted also with the increasing numbers who travel every year from Spain and elsewhere. We are hoping that a return to normal conditions next year will permit resumption of travel and we can greet our friends again in September 2021. Whatever challenges the future holds, we will find a way to continue to reach out the hand of friendship to visitors as we have this year online. The Spanish Embassy in Ireland has given wholehearted support to all our endeavours for many years now. The Ambassador, Ildefonso Castro, and his Deputy Head of Mission, Eduardo Sanchez Marino, had planned to travel from Dublin to be with us here today. They heard the recent travel advice by the government and decided that travel to Sligo was not an option at this time. We look forward to welcoming the Ambassador and other Embassy staff to the North West at some time in the future, when our current troubles are past. And here's the Ambassador's message to us today. Dear Cahigala, dear Father McHugh, Dear friends of the Grains and Armada Development Association, dear friends, this morning I am with you in Strido. Not physically, but I am with you. Due, due to the new advice given by the Irish government, I could not travel as it was my wish. I was forced to send this message from my office in Dublin. I do want to deeply thank Gada for keeping this event alive. It's our common tradition. You do an outstanding job and the Spanish Embassy will probably continue to support your efforts. It is an honor for me as Spanish ambassador to take part in this ceremony of remembrance of those Spanish sailors and soldiers, my fellow countrymen, who arrived to the shores of Ireland in 1588, suffering the storms of the Atlantic on their way back home. We also honour those who helped them, your fellow Irish countrymen, establishing a never-ending tie between Ireland and Spain. Many of the Armada men perished in the waters. Others were killed when they arrived on the beach. 
and some of them, such as Francisco de Cuellar, managed to escape the English, helped by Irish people who risked their own lives. And Cuellar told us his amazing story. Spain gives great importance to the heritage that remains here under the water. Gather work is key to preserve it from oblivion and treasure hunters. The governments of Ireland and Spain also want to protect this heritage. We are working together to sign a memorandum of understanding to protect all the Spanish wrecked ships along the Irish coast. I would also like to thank the people of Grange and Sligo authorities represented today by the Cahuilach for their continuous support all these years. Finally, I would like to thank all those who watched who watch this event online. Although in the distance, all of you are present here too, remembering your mother. I will be with you in Stridham next September. Thank you very much. Every year we lay a wreath to remember the fallen of 1588. I would like to invite Councillor Dara Mulvey, Cahirlock of Sligo County Council, and Do Councillor Donald Gilroy of Sligo County Council and a member of Spanish Armada Ireland to take a wreath each, one on behalf of the Spanish people, the other on behalf of the Irish people, to remember not only those who died in Strija in 1588, but also those members of our communities who have suffered so much in this difficult and challenging times. I now ask Councillor Marie Casserly and a member of Spanish Armada Ireland and Chris Garrett, a seminarian from the Diocese of Elfin, to lead us in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will not fear, though the earth gives way, and the mountains fall into the sea. Though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress.
Rezamos por todos aquellos que perdieron sus vidas en la playa de Estrella en 1588 en la causa de la fe católica. We pray here today for all those who lost their lives at Strija Beach in the year 1588 in the cause of the Catholic faith. Deus de salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todos los mujeres, y bendita es el fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, regra por nosotros pecadores, ahora en la hora de nos muerte. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. We now, we now conclude this ceremony of remembrance with the lighting of a fire. It reminds us of the ordeal of fire that all the fallen of the 1588 Spanish Armada had to endure on the great enterprise, and especially all those who lost their lives on this shore. It also symbolizes the light of hope that all of us will come safe through these difficult and challenging times. We now invite Declan Bruin of Spanish Armada, Ireland, to light this beacon.